Right. In other news, President William Ruto has affirmed his commitment as his new cabinet starts its work. The head of state today conceding that many public officials have fallen short of some constitutional requirements, including integrity. Paul Kirobi was at State House and tells us more. Thursday morning marked the beginning of a new chapter for President Ruto's cabinet as they officially assumed their roles. Ruto's government is once again striving to stay resilient following the youth-led protest. This marking a fresh start after Parliament approved the 19 cabinet secretaries. Yesterday, the first to be sworn in was Interior CSK Ture Kindiki, who managed to retain his position despite Ruto's reshuffling his cabinet during the second round of appointments. The president acknowledged that the previous cabinet secretaries fell short of meeting constitutional standards, particularly on matters of integrity. While the government remains committed to fulfilling its promises, the president has introduced new measures to be followed by his cabinet secretaries. A key priority is to ensure the success of the Kenya Kwanzaa administration leading up to 2027. A key priority is to ensure the success of the Kenya Kwanzaa administration leading up to 2027. Among the critical challenges the CS must address are issues of accountability and corruption. For instance, to strengthen accountability and ensure responsible use of public resources, President Ruto announced plans to introduce measures that will impose a surcharge on any accounting officer or public official responsible for the loss of public funds. The government will also implement a unified personal identification UPI system for all employees across all branches of government, including constitutional commissions, to eliminate ghost workers and prevent payroll fraud. The cabinet has also been tasked to work with the parliament and introduce legal and institutional framework and continued vetting of public officials. The same framework shall be used to provide the repository of wealth declaration across the entire government under one office. This has been one of the major challenges affecting public service in the country. As I indicated in my earlier address, I have engaged with the parliamentary leadership with a view to expediting the enactment of the conflict of interest bill and expressed my determination to sign a robust, effective instrument into law in due course. I further reiterate my determination to make full and full use of the opportunities within our legal and institutional structures and systems. The president says he arrived at the conclusion of working with opposition leaders as this is the only way to make sure the government moves forward towards its objectives and goals. In less than two and a half years to go, the new cabinet secretaries will have a huge task to play, more importantly to conform to the bottom-up economic model, which was President William Ruto's agenda when he took oath of office in the year 2022. Paul Kerobi. TV 47, State House, Nairobi.